soon. As we look across the Detroit River to our Canadian neighbors, up to this point, it's been with envy, perhaps regarding coronavirus cases. But Windsor Essex County health officials there are uncovering a common theme among its infected patients. Many of them work here in Detroit. Jason Colthorpe live along the riverfront tonight with the new restrictions now being proposed. And Sandra, as you might have guessed, we're talking about healthcare workers here. Another uh, resource that we cannot lose because we are already in short supply of folks on the front lines. But the challenge now is how to get medical staff, doctors, nurses who live in Canada, but help people over on this side to be able to keep doing that without taking the virus back home with them. Already a national hotspot for COVID-19, Detroit is now becoming an international concern. The Windsor-Essex County Health Unit today announcing that of its 65 cases of coronavirus, 20 or so are people in health care and work in Detroit. What can be done to maybe just try and minimize their movements? Dr. Wajid Ahmed had two suggestions to stop the spread. The first was limiting travel back and forth. If people are going, let's say, three times uh, a week or uh, maybe every day to Michigan, can they just go maybe once and then stay there and then come back? That might require workers to find housing on the U.S. side at a time when options are extremely limited. But when they do return home, he's suggesting tighter restrictions. And the second recommendation which we, we asked about is maybe uh, like a work home isolation. So when they're at work, when they're coming back, they are just isolating themselves. They're not going outside. It's all an attempt to wall off the virus from Detroit, which currently has more cases than all of Ontario. And we hope that um, um, we, we will look at ways, creative ways to, to still get the human resources that we need to maintain our operations, but also um, uh, not compromising on the community safety. Yeah, a tough balancing act for sure. And I did reach out to see if hospitals uh, are actively trying to solve this, uh, putting in place a plan to house workers from over there to be able to stay during the week. And wasn't able to get a, a real answer on that. No fault to hospitals, but just as we see another new challenge that is presenting itself as this situation continues. Back to you. Such a critical component of health care in southeast Michigan. All right, Jason. We